everyone and welcome to my channel. So today it's vlog day because it's Super Bowl weekend and I'm hoping to react to some of the new trailers that'll be coming out during the Super Bowl, but my reaction won't be out until Monday. I'm sorry, but I want to watch the game, enjoy the halftime show, and I'm hoping that we'll get a Wicked trailer because I'm really looking forward to that movie. But going back to the vlog, we took a little road trip from San Diego up to San Simeon, which um, it's where Hearst Castle is located. And I've been to Hearst Castle before and loved it, loved it. Um, we got a hotel for one night, super last minute. I was in the car. I think we were maybe like two hours, an hour and a half from the hotel and then I went on Expedia and booked because they have like last minute deals. Um, there's also an app called Hotel Tonight if you're looking for last minute deals on hotel on hotels. Um, hotel Tonight has great deals because the hotels are trying to get rid of their rooms and sell those rooms last minute so they drop the price. Our room was total with taxes and fees and everything was $74, which is really good especially for the location. It was called Sands by the Sea, and it's basically in a little hotel area. There's like Sea Breeze Inn, Sands by the Sea, there's a Quality Inn, there's like about six hotels right there, and Sands by the Sea was right by the water. It was beautiful. I did a little um, room tour, very quick one, because it's a very basic hotel. They have an outdoor pool, it was really cold, so we didn't use it, but it's just like, there are chairs right in front of the, um, the ocean where you can just sit there and read a book and have a glass of wine and enjoy. They have a couple fireplaces. And the good thing is that the hotel is just six minutes. We made it in five minutes. It's like five minutes from Hearst Castle driving. So it's super close. So I'll show you a little quick tour of the room and of the grounds of the hotel. Okay, this is Sands by the Sea. This is basically like the hotel circle of San Simon, which is a bunch of little hotel motels. It's a beautiful morning, the sun is out. It's a room. And now we're gonna walk. I try not to wake people up. Okay, so I'll do a quick room tour 
we're on the second floor. Um, it's like a two-store building. It's very basic, you know, motel room. Hello, sorry, excuse me, excuse me. Um, yeah, towels, um, bathroom, water pressure was really good. These guys, I was surprised how good, like, good smelling they were. Mm, yeah. Uh, TV, basic channels. There's a mini fridge right here, microwave, which is nice if you need to warm stuff up. A uh, little coffee machine, you know, with, there's a um, regular and decaf. Um, we got a king, king bed, sorry about the mess, closet. Um, yeah, it was nice to have like a tree here um, to cover the parking lot but the beach the water you can see it's like right there and that's what we walk by this is it like i said very very basic but um you know it was a good deal going back to hearst castle which is formerly known as la cuesta encantada which means the enchanted coast Hearst Castle is a historic state in San Simeon, located on the central coast of California. Conceived by William Randolph Hearst, the publishing tycoon, and his architect, Julia Morgan, the castle was built between 1999 and 1947. I could go on and on and on about this place because I think it's one of the most beautiful, opulent places I've ever seen in my life. It, it takes me back in time. It, it, you feel like you live a different life when you're there. And when you watch the little movie that they present before, and make sure when you go there, because I saw some people like going straight into the tour and not seeing the movie called Building a Dream that they show in the movie theater. Yes, there's a little movie theater there. It's actually a really nice the um, theater. But they show this movie, Building the Dream, and it tells you the, the life story of uh, Mr. Hurst and how he met Julia Morgan, the architect. It actually shows a lot of, um, of his dad and his mom and how Hurst had this vision because of his parents. He inherited his father's ambition and his mother's love for travel and art and she went on um a one-year trip with little hers he was a little boy and she took him everywhere around europe and he saw all these different worlds and it really inspired him to build the castle you have to take a little bus to get there it's like a 15 minute ride going up and up the hill now imagine in the 20s in the 30s trying to build this like magnificent place. You also learn about this badass woman called Julia Morgan, who helped um, Mr. Hearst bring his vision to life. Her resume is insane. It's insane. She like, she flourished and shown in a field that was dominated by men. She was only 44 years old when she started working for Mr. Hearst. She was like this little lady walking around, giving people like orders. And, and she designed so much. I think she designed probably like 90% of the castle. It's about a 40 minute movie and they show every hour. It starts at 9 a.m. So there are separate tours you can take. They're $30 each. I advise buying tickets there in person at the little, you know, box office instead of buying online. You know, we want to buy everything online nowadays, but online there's an $8 booking fee. So if you want to save $8, just buy there. And if it's your first time there, they advise you to take the Grand Rooms tour first because the tour is at about an hour each. So if you have the full day, do two or th three tours and then, you know, go back and stay at your hotel and then leave the next morning. And then after the castle, we went to the Sea Lion Beach, which is, if you're driving, it's just five minutes up the road, up north. And please check it out. If you go to Hearst Castle, go to the Sea Lion Beach. And those sea lions are not the cute little ones that we have here in San Diego. And there, they're like monsters. They are huge. Huge, and you see the baby ones, the little baby ones next to the mama.
Their noise is so fun. Ah! They're dying. Look at that one going in the water. Well, it's breeding season right now. let's get this tour of the Hearst Castle started. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, you know what to do. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Now I have a thanks button. So if you can hit the thanks button, that'd be great. It supports the channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any other videos and I'll see you next time. He began building this estate with his architect, Julia Morgan, in 1919. They worked on this project for 28 years. We will pass a large Spanish-style house built in the 1930s as the poultry ranch manager's residence. It is still used by Hearst Ranch employees today. Hundreds of glamorous guests traveled this same road to visit the castle in the 1920s and 30s. But imagine Mr. Hurst first as young Willie, a boy following his father along the winding bridle path that would become this road, climbing on horseback 1,600 feet, or 488 meters, to a hilltop that was often sunny when the fog shrouded the coast during the summertime. Later in life, Mr. Hurst said that the road was so steep and the way so rocky 
that he only managed by hanging on to the tail of my pony and immediately hired a talented and singular architect, Julia Morgan, whose firm was located in San Francisco. Hearst was overheard walking into Miss Morgan's office and announcing he was tired of camping in tents. I'm getting a little old for that. I'm thinking of building a little something. Well, his little something became this estate of more than 165 rooms. So where we are standing now is called the West Terrace or C Terrace, the letter C. And that's how Julia Morgan and Hearst referred to this location in their letter discussing plans for the site. Before we get into the details of the West Terrace and Casa del Sol behind me, I want to go back in time and imagine what this hilltop was like before anything was constructed here. protector to the head of a lion, the body of a woman. They're carved of diorites, which is a form of granite. The upper piece has a red slash of naturally occurring feldspar running through it. Julia Morgan has cleverly played with color to create continuity in this particular space. She's picking up that red slash in the red marble columns on either side, the red tile at our feet that she designed and was made here in California at California Fans. passed away in 1951. The family kept possession of it for about five years, initially trying to uh, work with UC Berkeley to create an extension of the Berkeley campus here. Berkeley was interested in the artwork, but not interested in the property. So that deal fell through, but then in 1956, they donated the hilltop and the area surrounding what is now the visitor center to the state of California. So 127 acres on the hilltop here, and the area down below are owned by the state of California. So if we think of the space we just left as being Renaissance in its decoration and its sensibilities, as we enter this space, the sense is much more Gothic. It tends to draw our eyes upward and this is clever design from Julia Morgan. She's incorporating a specific Gothic feature called the OG Arch. It's a stylized double S that comes up to a point. You'll see it in the 15th century Spanish choir stalls that wrap the space. 
in the windows, in the mantelpiece, which is also French uh, in the 16th century. So this is called the morning room, not because it was only used in the morning, it was used throughout the day and the evening, but because the morning sun would tend to shine in through the doorway there. It is another convent gate. 